you know, in the last couple of decades, uh, we've seen the pharma industry uh, really suffer from a problem of plenty in the sense that, uh, you know, with the advent of prescriber data, with the advent of patient data, uh, with the advent of payer-related data, I think there's been a huge explosion of information available about products, about markets, about customers, um, that this industry has leveraged like probably no other industry uh, to, uh, to make sure that its customers are served ultimately in the best possible way. I think our clients have really struggled to, uh, to manage the issues around integrating all of this data and then making sure that, of course, the data is right consistently over time uh, as it is used for operations, for analysis, and so on. Um, and of course, the consequences of not getting the data right are pretty severe. Uh, you know, everything from leadership losing confidence in the data uh, and therefore not you know, stopping using it for their decision making, um, all the way to sending out maybe a wrong targeting file so that you know, your, your entire sales force is, is calling on the wrong customers. Uh, so the consequences are quite severe. So there's either been an over-reliance on automated checks uh, or the other extreme, which is an over-reliance on data stewards uh, to do a lot of the data checking um, and then implementing checks as they discover issues uh, and sort of creating a patchwork quilt, as it were. Um, so neither approach is, is very scalable in the sense that uh, as, as more and more data comes in and, and as new data sources are, are uh, needed to be added into our operations and analysis, uh, that this is not a, neither is a sustainable model, that it's very hard to change the technology solution and then on the data stewardship side, it's very expensive to, to keep adding more data stewards. I think uh, the key uh, to getting it right is, as I said, uh, to make sure that, that we use the right combination of automated checks as well as the human judgment. Um, uh, that again, there's a collaboration framework in place that, uh, you know, it's, it's not contingent on a pharma company by itself to get things right, that collaborating with upstream data vendors, uh, collaborating with consumers of the information to recognize what the information is going to be used for and therefore what level of diligence needs to be put in terms, uh, in terms of checking the data uh, is critical. What we have seen though is that you know with the proper discipline around using the right uh, framework for checking data, uh, around using the right platforms and the people and with the right sponsorship from executive leadership, uh, there can be a huge difference that can be made in terms of detecting data quality issues um, and in fact even fixing them even before they occur. So just figuring out exactly what level of checks to use and, and what level of automation and hu human judgment to use across all of these different uses of information in the pharma industry uh, is critical to getting it right.